Hey guys, what's up? This is the boy who had seven. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 25 favorite covers of 2018. There has been some absolutely epic art this year, and there's been some amazing comic book covers, and I wanna share with you guys my favorite 25. I took about 100 comics and I just went through everything, pulled them out, and had to whittle that down to 25. I think I've got a pretty good list, but if I'm missing anything, you guys make sure to let me know down in the comments. Now, the year isn't over. There's still some pretty amazing art coming out in the next couple of weeks, like Batman Who Laughs, Defender, Silver Surfer. There's some really good variant books coming out. But my friend Tony Sanders is having a 250 subscriber giveaway that ends tonight. He asked us to show him 25 books. Doesn't matter what books, why you wanna show 25 books, just show 25 books. And I thought, what better than to share my favorite comic book covers of 2018 and so that's what I'm doing for today's video and that is why so if you guys haven't followed Tony go check him out because this 250 subscriber giveaway it's almost done tonight but he's already at 400 and something and he's got a second giveaway going on already so this guy's channel is blowing up he's somebody that you guys want to go check out all he asks us to do is show 25 books number two sub up a fellow youtuber King Pen comics as you guys see here next to me and you can head over to Instagram, tag him in one of your posts, and show 25 books. So let's get started. We've got a whole bunch of books that I want to share with you guys. I hope you like this list. First thing I'm going to do is show you guys some honorable mentions. And the reason they're not on the list alone is because they're connecting covers or the covers that kind of go together. And so I didn't count them as one book. But the first ones that I want to show you are some stunning Matina Midtown exclusive virgin comic books. Okay. This is um, Amazing Spider-Man number 800, and this is Venom volume four number one, but they connect together, guys, and if I can do it right here, check out how beautiful that is. You've got the Red Goblin and Venom with Spider-Man dangling in between them. That is one of my favorite covers of this year. I had to have these. Number two, and this one I would actually, if I, if I pulled them apart, so two of them would be on my top 25 list, but I'm gonna share with you guys the art germ covers of Fantastic Four number one from my least to my favorite. So this is Fantastic Four number one, Mr. Fantastic by Art Germ, beautiful cover. Uh, this one is Johnny Storm, same comic book, number one, Art Germ again. And then we have these two that would have been on my top 25 if they were alone. This is The Thing. You guys know I love The Thing and I think Art Germ did a beautiful job here. And then this one would be in my top five favorite books of 2018 and this is Mrs. Fantastic. The Invisible Girl, Invisible Woman, but I think Art Germ just did amazing with this cover. And so those are my honorable mentions, and now let's get into my top 25 favorite books. So we're gonna start off with Action Comics number 997. With the way that I love this country, when I saw this beautiful cover, I knew it had to be on my top 25 list. This is by Kerry Andrews, and I just look at how his cape and old glory are flowing in the wind together as he is just floating there over Metropolis. Absolutely beautiful cover. Love it. That's number 25. This one had to be on the list or my wife would have killed me. This is Joelle Jones, Batman number 44. This is Catwoman looking in the mirror with her beautiful dress, which my, my wife absolutely adores. She wants that dress. So beautiful, beautiful cover. But it means so much, her looking in the mirror and seeing Catwoman and then her in reality being in this dress and wondering where she fits in it all. This one just came out recently. This is Batman Begins number 26, and this is number um, 18 on the list. And uh, I just think that this book is stunning because of that pink against the black and the red of the bat sign on his chest. It's just beautiful. And this is by Dave Johnson. Number 17, it looks like a watercolor, but it's beautiful. Superman number one, the new Bendis run. This is by David Mack, the art. And look at that, it's just a stunning watercolor painting. I mean, that's really what it looks like. It's just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Number 16, we've got this really cool Nightwing number 46 by Ben Oliver. I just think this one is absolutely beautiful. I love the blues, my favorite color. Then you've got the half skeleton, half face of Nightwing, just stunning. 
number 16. We've got my favorite artist of all time, Jim Lee, with uh, this one is um, Justice League number four. And of course, that is Wonder Woman. And she looks stunning there, getting ready to battle. There's Wonder Woman. At number 15, we've got Mira, Queen of Atlantis, number one. Another beautiful work by Stanley Art Germ. She's coming out, making her big screen debut here in the next couple of weeks. And um, I just think Mira is epic. And this is one beautiful cover. At number 14, we've got our first Putri, Jas Yasmin Putri on the list. And this is Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 26. Her art is very distinct. She's got these certain angles and there's always something flying or moving or splattered. And uh, the main character is either coming from that or turning into that. I just think that's amazing. Beautiful. And here's our first Francesco Mattina, flash number 46. This is also a connecting cover, but I didn't like the other one that it connected with. I think this one is a beautiful standalone cover. I mean, just look at him right there. Just crazy. Look at those eyes, guys. Oh my goodness, stunning. Here is our first battle lines. This is the Hulk. And uh, here we go with the Hulk, Max Lim. I love this cover. I think this Hulk is one of my favorite Hulk covers in the last couple years. Really stunning, really beautiful. And here we go with Tyler Kirkham, Hal Jordan and the Green Lanterns, number 46. Kind of bloody. But the detail in this is beautiful. And if you read the story, he just got finished fighting Zod. And Zod just beat the heck out of him. And yet, Green Lantern will not give up. That willpower comes into play. I just love Hal Jordan. And I love this color by this cover by Tyler Kirkham. Here we've got Venom number one by Pablo Paolo Rivera. And uh, this is just stunning to me. This is my favorite Venom cover I've seen in a while. He's a little smaller than normal, but look at his hands, the white patches on the back of his hands, the way he's standing there, his muscles and that Venom just dripping off of his chin with that purple and the city behind him. I just, I love it. I think this is gorgeous. This one just came out last week, I believe. This is Flash number 58 by Carl Kershaw, and this cover just caught my eye, caught my attention so quickly. If you look at it, it's Flash just running around all over the place. He's so quickly that you just see him. It looks like there's multiples of him, but this art is beautiful. So beautiful. At number 12, we've got Deathstroke, number 30, which is Deathstroke versus Batman storyline. And check this Matina out. Look at how he's cleaning his sword with Superman's cape. That alone is epic, just thinking about it, but the art itself is exquisite. Matina is a master. And here we go with my favorite Matina at number 11. This is Deathstroke number 37. And I just think the purple, the way it contrasts the orange and the black, is beautiful. The art itself is amazing. Let's see. Let's, let's touch this here so you can make sure we're not getting too shiny there. There we go. Beautiful. Favorite Matina cover of 2018. Here we have our first and only Adam Hughes, Superman number three. But I love this cover. I think you just have Superman there. I love how his glasses have this reflection in them. And he's taking off his suit, getting ready to go towards danger. And you can see his little Superman outfit underneath his suit. I mean, I just think this is such a cool cover. So neat. And here we go with our top 10, guys. These are my top 10 favorite books. We're going to start with a couple of art germs because I just think he's absolutely a master himself. This is a Supergirl number 23, the foil um, version of this. And man... Does Supergirl look awesome? The blue, the grays, and the whites just make this a really stunning cover. John's comic with kids. His daughter, Charlie, was doing a contest, and this was her favorite art germ cover, and somebody posted it in one. I think Kachung, and uh, I agree, Charlie, this is a beautiful, beautiful cover. 
But my favorite uh, Wonder Woman cover, I like just a little more of Art Germ, and that is Wonder Woman number 51. Guys, I just think she looks absolutely amazing. A mixture of feminine and beast mode at the same time. I, that's Wonder Woman to me. She just looks absolutely amazing, and this is going up in my daughter's room for one of her Christmas presents, so I won't let her watch this video until after that time. Here is a Josh Middleton Batgirl number 28. I think this is just a stunning cover. Josh is doing these covers that look very realistic, and I think Batgirl looks amazing here. And that cover itself with the black in the background, the clock tower behind her, I just it just looks awesome. Here is my only Scotty Young, and uh, this is just so cool. I saw this one two weeks ago, Uncanny X-Men number one. I hadn't really collected any Scotty Young, but when I saw this one, little Psylocke here, Jean Grey, Jubilee, X-23, and the rest of them, I was just like, oh my goodness. Just so cute, fell in love with it, and this is absolutely one of my favorites. So there it is right there. So we got five, four, three, two, and one. This is number, let's see here. This is number six, first of all. This one, I just got in the mail, and I just think it's so cool. This is Carnage, or Venom Carnage Reborn, number one, and this is Clayton Crane Virgin. They only made 1,500 of these, but check out Carnage coming out of the grave and the symbiote flying all over the place. And this is just a stunning Carnage cover. Already making his hand into an axe. This guy freaks me out. He's amazing. Beautiful cover. And here we go with my top five. Jenny Friesen, Wonder Woman number 58. I love this cover. And look at how the light is making her <laughs> just shine. Look at it shining right there. I just think it's so cool. But uh, this Jenny Friesen art is amazing. Check out her lips, how they're puckered. Check out the rope that she has on her side there. I just think she looks amazing. What a beautiful Wonder Woman cover. Next, I got another Wonder Woman cover, cover another Jenny Friesen. This is Wonder Woman 56, and this one just blows me away at number four. This is my fourth favorite. The colors on this thing, the up-close uh, um, face shot here, her eyes, because she's being bewitched. I mean, this is just a stunning cover, guys. It's seriously top five for me. Here we go, number three. Now, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this one. I, I would put this one in its place if I had to. But for some reason, this Alex Ross cover with the blue and the flames, Fantastic Four number one, just blows me away. I just think it's the coloring is so beautiful and stunning. And I just, this is my third favorite cover of 2018. I just think it's beautiful. That purple on their chest, the flames all around them. I love the Fantastic Four. I love that they're back. So this is my third favorite book of 2018, or cover. Now these two, they switch back and forth, guys. And you've heard me talk about this one. But for today, my second favorite cover of 2018 is Cosmic Ghost Rider number four, which is this battle line Max Lim Ghost Rider. I just think he looks absolutely amazing. This I ha I got this one um, CGC as well. Came back nine eight white pages, but I just love this cover. I love the Ghost Rider. Man, he's awesome. Doesn't he look cool? And my number one, I know Comic McD is going to love this, but this is Red Hood and the Outlaws number 25. And this is my absolute favorite cover of 2018. It's Red Hood versus Batman. He's got him pinned over this thing with his back arching. He's got a gun in his face. The colors, the green, the red, the cape. and I mean, it's just, to me, it's amazing. And the story that goes behind it, nah, I don't think Red Hood gets the upper hand on this fight. He actually gets his butt handed to him by Batman. But I'll tell you what, this is my favorite cover 
of 2018. And there it is, guys, my 25 favorite covers of 2018. I don't want to keep you too long. I hope you like some of these covers and agree with me. If you don't, there may be stuff I missed. I went through all of my boxes this morning from 2018, and I bet I missed some things. If I did, let me know down in the comments. Tony, congratulations to you, man. Keep growing because you're doing it at an awesome pace. Everybody else, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. My own contest ends in three days on December 7th, so you got to get in. Actually, that's two days away. So make sure you get in on that competition. Got some cool stuff behind me that I'm giving away. And as always, guys, I'll talk to you later.